you guys. So I'm about to get ready to do Ladybug's hair. And before I start, I want everybody to comment down below and wish her a happy birthday. I bet you weren't expecting that. No. <laughs> What's up you guys? So today I'm going to be doing another tutorial using straight hair. And in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to install straight hair and make it look natural. Starting off I'm using pre loop hair by Freetress and the hair is called Yaki Bounce. I will put links down below so that you can go and purchase this hair. This pack of hair comes with three bundles and within each bundle is 16 pre looped strands. I didn't fully show her braid pattern, but her hair is braided very simple. I have smaller cornrows in the front and they connect into bigger cornrows toward the back. Now the first step is to remove tiny elastic rubber band around the loop. We don't want that. I realized that you're going to use way more hair than needed and that stuff is going to be super thick. So remove the elastic band so that you can separate it into smaller strands. Now the first thing that I do is I always start from the front of the head. The reason why I start installing in the front of the head is because I've seen too many times where people would start in the back and then closer to the front they realize that they don't have as much hair as they thought they had and they end up not having enough fullness toward the top. Honestly the back does not need nearly as much as the front. You're going to think that you need more hair because you're trying to fill it in. But if you start from the front, it's going to be full in the top to kind of fall over the back. So I'm separating each pre-looped strand into three to four different strands. For the sides and the back, I am installing using the rubber band method. And it's a certain way that you loop the hair in and then you take the tip of the loop and you proceed to wrap it around as if you're tying as if you're tying a rubber band around it but you're really wrapping the loop around itself Once I start working my way up to the part area, now this is the important part that a lot of y'all missed the last time. Please pay attention because it's so, so simple. Some assume that they have to tie their hair in a million knots, even though I said do not knot the hair. And also, some accuse me of knotting the hair, even though I clearly told them do not knot the hair. So please pay attention to this part. It's very, very important. So once you get closer toward your part area, be sure to grab smaller strands of hair. If you pay attention, I'm looping the hair through and then I'm taking the two ends of the hair and I'm pulling them apart. Nothing else. I'm not tying it into place. I'm not doing anything. I'm looping it through and pulling it apart. And I pull it apart to kind of lock it into place. That's it. Will they come down? Will they unravel? 
I can't speak for you because I don't know what you're doing. But what I will say is use less hair. If it's coming undone, that must mean that the strands that you are installing are too thick. So kind of keep it light. Notice how thick her cornrows are. So you don't want to loop underneath the whole corn roll, or that's just going to be too big, too thick, and it's going to the loop is going to unravel. So what you want to do is do like a, a stair step effect. I would install on the left side, and then I will install on the right side of the corn roll a little higher than I did on the left side. And then when I move back to the left side, I'm going to install it just a little bit higher than I did on the right side. And I'm going to do that until I work my way up toward the top. Then I'm going to start falling down the middle. It doesn't have to be close together or anything, trust me. So the last step, once, once the installment is complete, the last thing that you're going to do is rake through the hair and you're good to go. So this is my video and as you guys can see she loved her hair. If you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment below let me know how I did and share this video with a friend. You can follow me anywhere else under T-Day 6 and on Snapchat under The Real T-Day 6. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day.